Hey guys, it's week seven, and welcome to your next installment of Kick Ass and Suck Gas, brought to you by the Hail Yeah Marys, where we talk about the players we're hot on and the players we're not so hot on. All right, so to get started, I'm going to start with our first Kick Ass, DeMarco Murray, unstoppable force for the Dallas Cowboys. This season, 785 yards, six touchdowns. He's rushed for more than 100 yards in the last six games. This guy is unbelievable, and I'm excited to see him go up against one of the hardest Ds in the league. I've had him for two seasons. He's never let me down, except when he gets injured, and he's bound to get injured this year, just given his history. But until then, he's kicking ass. It's the curse of the running back. Well, I, I know I'm a San Diego Chargers fan, but you have to admit I'm not biased when I say that Phillip Rivers is on fire this year. He's on fuego. Um, it's a division matchup against the Chiefs. Um, he's got a lot of injuries on the offense. Still, he's got Gates, and he's got so many wide receivers, it's not going to matter. Super Bowl baby this year. I've already booked my tickets to Arizona. We're going. It's going to be great. Start packing. Anyways, I'm going to have a moment of nepotism, and I'm going to go with a kick-ass Antonio Brown, my boy from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Some argue this guy is on autopilot. He is tough. Despite a tough game, a, a, a tough loss against the Cleveland Browns, he still had seven catches for 118 yards, and he's had five touchdowns this season with 629 passing yards. Unreal. I could have had him, but I picked VJAX instead. Hmm. He's also a total babe. But you know who I picked up off the waiver wires who I'm really pumped about? Odell Beckham Jr. Unfortunately, Victor Cruz is out for the season. So this means that we're going to get more playing time from Be from Beckham Jr. Let's talk about how he's super fast. And the only thing I'm concerned about is that Cruz is a slot receiver and Beckham lines up on the outside. Still, I think he's going to excel in two mm -hmm. and three wide receiver sets. I think if they can note those changes, we could see some, some solid things. Now we're going to go to the suck ass. Sorry, but we both agreed. Mike Asiata, we had to throw you in there. A lot of owners, including myself, we were really, really excited to pick up Asiata. And he did really great for a couple games, but mm. the last game against Detroit, he rushed for negative five yards. Negative five yards. That means that he rushed for less yards than we did. Combined. Combined. And I was sitting around eating chicken fingers. I, if uh, Derek... Um, if Jarek McKinnon is still around, I would pick him up. It mm. seems like he's going to be the starter going forward. Agreed. The next suck ass, hate to say it, Dwayne Bow. A lot of leagues had ownership of him this year because historically he's been a pretty solid player. This season, he's scoring under five five points, and he's also only had 195 receiving yards. It's it's not a not a good scene over there. And. My last suck ass for the week, unfortunately, he was my fifth round pick, Matthew Stafford. This was supposed to be your year, but I mean, with Megatron out, he just hasn't been performing, and mm -hmm. he's getting sacked crazy. So Detroit O-line, protect your man, and get me some fantasy points. Take out your shields and defend your man! <laughs> anyway, until Megatron is back and in full form, I would suggest picking up someone on the waiver wire, mm -hmm. maybe a Hoyer. Or um, Davis seems like a good option. Um, but I wouldn't put Stafford on the waiver wires yet. Anyway, check out the blog, check out our tweets, and we'll see you next week.